Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you guys my wash day routine and how I achieve my braiding curl featuring Lottie Body's new milk and honey line sent by Impressions of Beauty. So to start my wash day routine, I'll be shampooing my hair using the Lottie Body with Milk and Honey Restore Me Cream Shampoo. I did like this shampoo a lot because it got everything done that it said it would, such as removing product buildup, restores moisture, and makes hair soft and manageable. I do not use combs or anything to detangle my hair. I like to finger detangle, so this shampoo really helped making my hair really soft and more manageable, so I really like that, and on top of that, this whole line smells amazing you're going to love it if you try it so y'all better get some next i use the lottie body with milk and honey restore me cream conditioner and light the shampoo it also deeply moisturizes and makes hair soft and manageable so as you can see i'm just getting that all up in my hair completely covering it moisturizing it and also still finger detangling as so my curls look really great with this product and I, I really like it and again it smells amazing so if you guys just look at all that little shiny little little scrumptious delicious poppin curls <laughs> so for my braiding curl I do like to start on stretched hair so I went on and blow dried my hair out using my blow dryer and the comb piece just going through that getting it as stretched as possible before I begin my braid and curl here it is all blown out so I begin with sectioning my hair in half and I also section my hair into a side part and I begin working in medium sized sections so first I apply the lighter body with milk and honey nourish me leave-in conditioner which locks in moisture continuous intense hydration and detangles and adds shine then I use the lighter body with milk and honey refine me curl defining mousse and I apply both of those to my hair from root to end. And then like any other braid or plait, I just section that section into three parts and begin to braid and plait all the way down until about a little past halfway, just to leave a more, enough space for me to add my rod. So after Taking that down as far as I want to, I did add a little bit of curl defining mousse to my ends just to get that completely smooth and detangled for a smooth curl. So I take my rod and I roll it up. You're going to see me going over my ends. My ends are very important to me. So I go, I went over my ends a lot of times. You're going to see that. I go over them numerous, numerous times to make sure the curl is super smooth and I lock in my rod. So again, applying that Nourish Me leave-in conditioner and then the milk and honey, separating into the three parts for the braid. And I just braid as normal all the way down. No special technique, just all the way down until about a little past halfway. Then again, you're going to add a little more defining mousse to the end for a curl that is super sleek super neat and super soft so I add that on and I roll my rod up until my braid begins my braid ends my bad <laughs> up until my braid ends and again smooth those ends make sure it's super smooth super sleek and lock that rod on in so one more time for the full process Take your medium sized section, add that Nourish Me Leave-In Conditioner, add that Curl Defining Mousse, apply it from root to end, section into the three parts as if a normal braid or plait, and braid all the way down until about a little past halfway. Then add a little more Curl Defining Mousse to the ends. To smooth that all on out get that all sleek and smooth add the rod roll it up roll 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 till you can't get enough 
So yeah, make sure that's super sleek and locking your eyes. So here my hair is completely rotted, all done there. So the next morning, the takedown process, I'm just taking out the rods, just spiraling it down, letting it come down, nothing special with the takedown process, just unraveling it. And then I am going to take a little oil, the essential vitals oil, because braid outs are, braid and curls, I would say, are not the easiest to take out. The process is very, you have to be very gentle and very slow because you do have a curl on the end of your hair that you don't want to, you don't want to disturb that curl while you're taking out this braid. So I have to add oil, a little oil to my hands just to start taking that out and be very gentle again because you don't want to cause any unnecessary frizz. But of course me, I still got some giving me a dry <laughs> So other than that, I'm just a regular takedown, just as gentle as possible, trying to keep everything neat and up to par. So just take your time. Don't rush taking your hair out. This, this is the most important part. This is your final product. You want it to look great. So take your time in your takedown process because you want your hair to be leaky. Leaky. So as you can see, I'm trying to do twists. I had messed up. So don't do that. <laughs> so here my hair is all out. And I'm just going back in and separating a little. Not too much. In braid outs, I don't typically separate that much. I just let my hair expand as it wants. But here I did have some bigger pieces. So I did want to separate that for a little extra volume. So... Separating is definitely a choice of yours. Me personally, I just try to do as little as much. And then I go in with my pick. Because I do love the volume. Love the volume. Big hair. Crazy hair. So, not to disturb any curls. I'm going straight to the root. Definitely not picking at my ends. Because I want my curls to stay at the ends. So, definitely to the root. And just pulling that out just a little. Not too much. Just for a little volume. So now I'm going to use the new Lighter Body with Milk and Honey Tame Me Edge Control. Sleeking that on there. I just want to get my edges a little laid. So I'm taking a little of that and an edge to brush. I'm going to just brush that until it is all laid and looking wonderful. <laughs> But this is my finished product. Thank you guys so much for watching. Special thank you to Impressions of Beauty and Lot of Body. These products are amazing. Y'all need to go get them. They smell amazing. You're going to love them just for the smell. But they also are wonderful. So stay tuned for my next video. Be on the lookout for that. And don't forget to follow Ravens Natural.